How you guys doing out there? My name is Kyle and today I'm going to be reviewing the film The Big Sick. The movie tells the story of a man named Kumal who is a stand-up comedian, extremely likable. His family is from Pakistan and they moved to America to have a better life. However, they still carry their religions and customs with them. And throughout the movie, his family is trying to get him to marry someone and arrange marriage. Or Kumal just says it's not arranged marriage, it's just marriage. And in the process of this, he finds a young American named Emily and he falls in love with her and he wants to marry her. But to be as spoiler free as possible, there's something bad that happens that forces Kumal to meet Emily's parents, played by Ray Romano and Holly Hunter. Before I keep going guys, I do apologize for the lateness of this review. I saw this movie two weeks ago, but man, work has really just been pushing me so I really haven't had a lot of time to properly sit down and give you guys reviews of films I've seen, but I promise you I will be soon. Anyways, back to the review. Now when it comes to romantic comedies, because that's the way this movie is marketed, when it comes to rom-coms, I am not a fan. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. I do not enjoy rom-coms. They're overlong, cheesy, have awkward dialogue, and the ending that just feels so predictable. It's like you could have seen it coming a mile away. So I was not heavily anticipating this movie, but at the same time, it's gotten critical acclaim, and a good friend of mine said it was excellent, and he recommended it to me. So I said, okay, I'll go see it, and I wasn't really sure what to think about it. And coming out of this movie, guys, I loved it. If I could describe the big sick in one word, it would be wonderful. This is not a stereotypical rom-com at all. It's actually more of a dramedy. And for those of you who don't know, a dramedy is a drama and a comedy mixed into one. Regardless though, this movie was really fun. I had a great time watching it. And the biggest plus I can give it is the acting. The acting in this movie is fantastic. I think what adds to the acting in this movie is the fact that it is a true story. So a lot of the things that are depicted in the film did happen in real life. The actor who played Kamal did a very good job. Even though he was playing a version of himself, I really enjoyed his performance. From the opening scene, this guy is instantly likable. He has to go through a wide array of emotions throughout the movie. He could go from being funny to dramatic to back to funny so effortlessly. It was just amazing to watch. I think the actress who played Emily did a really good job. She was also very funny. And I think the chemistry she had with Kumal felt real. It didn't feel forced. It didn't really feel that awkward. It just felt natural. And when this unfortunate situation arises, you really feel for these two characters. You really feel for them. Now let's talk about Emily's parents, played by Holly Hunter and Ray Romano. I've loved Holly Hunter for years. I'll of course remember her voice as Elastigirl for The Incredibles. It's just something that I'll remember because I loved watching the movie as a kid. But I've definitely seen her in other films. I love her accent. She has a really awesome stare down scene with a redneck guy when Kamala is performing stand up. Just great scene. I don't want to spoil what happens, but it is a really good scene. That being said though, Ray Romano has returned. I haven't seen Ray Romano in God knows how long. I remember watching Everybody Loves Raymond as a kid. But he hasn't acted in any live action film since as far as I'm concerned. So seeing him in this movie was a visual treat. How was he? He was excellent. I loved his character. Even though he was very tall and even though he could be very intimidating because he's so tall, you find out that he is a very calm, reserved person who has a lot of secrets. You really understand who he was as a person. Why he made certain decisions in his life that he now regrets why he has problems with his wife. You understand all of that. And even though it's mainly done through an exposition scene, it's engaging. I wanted to know what was going on. I wanted to know more about these characters because I really did like them all. Something else I really liked about The Big Sick was the fact that the tone never felt inconsistent. And you guys know me, I am very harsh when it comes to tone because it's so easy for a movie to go from being serious to funny to back to serious. Spider-Man 3 is a prime example of that. But this movie found a perfect balance with comedy and drama. It was funny when it needed to be, but it was also hardcore serious when it needed to be. And these two tones actually did really mesh well, and again, based on a true story. I know that. These are two very different families with very different social customs, and that is really the raw and gritty aspect of this movie. There's a moment where Kumal is conversing with Emily and he's trying to tell her that arranged marriages really are just marriages and there's nothing that he can do about it. And if he does try to do something about it, his family will disown him and just forget he ever existed. And it's so different from American culture because here we can marry whomever we want. I love the fact that this movie was completely dialogue driven and had me riveted from the beginning to the end. 
it was so investing. And for those of you who believe I just love action movies, one of my favorite movies is The Social Network. That is completely dialogue driven. Completely. And this is another prime example of that. I do have two flaws with the movie overall. I do think the first 20 minutes of it is a little cheesy. I think that the romance is a little bit slow to start out with, but it was kind of the opening where I was sitting there wondering, is this movie going to be what I think it's going to be? And when you realize it isn't, I'm like, okay, good. It's not that. <laughs> and my second issue is I do think the movie does get slow towards the end of the second act to the beginning of the third act. It's a problem I have with so many films. It's a point where there's a huge event that happens and then there's this like five to ten minute lull period where not much is going on, not much is happening, and then there's something that someone says or an action that someone does that just propels the plot upward and we have a good third act. This movie really was just great to watch. It was wonderful. I had a great time. I was laughing pretty hard in certain areas. I was just amazed with how dramatic this movie got, and I'm going to give this film an A-. minus. So what did you guys out there think about the film The Big Sick? I love to hear all your comments, so send them down in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. I appreciate it as always. Thanks, and stay tuned.